everyone? Morty Crozen here from the Performance Lab of California. I hope you like our new look, everything that we got going on, new going into uh, the end of 2013 and then back into 2019. Starting off the year and, and uh, redoing the breakdowns with Tom Brady. Really going into some of the big things that make Tom Brady, Tom Brady, and, and why Tom Brady is on a whole nother level than you know, most of the guys that are, are watching the video, which I'm, I'm assuming are, are quarterbacks. And because I think this is important because it goes into what are um, some overlooked parts of what Tom Brady does that I think is something that should definitely be addressed more in his ability to, you know, become, be one of the most dominant quarterbacks in the league. And, and really what that's going into is his release time and his ability to make decisions and get that, the ball out of his hands very, very quickly. And additionally, the, the great efficiency that he has in the actual throw. So let's first go through and watch when he gets to the top of his drop and just kind of watch how that throw looks. We'll go and rewind it again. All right. So seeing that we'll go into is some of the things that he does very, very well. First thing that I want to say is you can see as soon as he gets to the top of the drop, he's able to hit, you know, as soon as the, the, his feet get set and, and then Julian Edelman goes and breaks out, you can see he can get that ball right out of his hand. And, and really how great of a job he does at being able to, as, as Julian Edelman's turning here, he's getting rid of the ball and he's able to still get the ball to him, even though he's starting his break right at the top of the numbers when he's starting to throw, he can still get the ball to him before he gets about, I mean, to the sideline, gets halfway to the sideline. So he has a lot of room to work with still, even though he throw the, threw the ball really late. And a lot of times that has to, or the reason why is because of how quick his delivery is and again, how efficient he is. So look at his, as how good his overall base is, transition his, his legs underneath him. As soon as he does, he goes and, and rotates. Notice how he, he gets that back foot going and, and pivoting and getting the hips to rotate first. And then from there, initiating that rotation with the hips. Now he pulls that front shoulder down and through and really has almost no wasted motion. And we'll see better from the other angle, but he has almost no wasted motion in the actual arm. And this is something that, that is huge when we do breakdowns and we talk to some of the quarterbacks that, that you know, send in their videos to us is we talk a lot about the release and making it so the release is a lot more efficient. You can get the ball out of your hands quicker. And notice how he goes and as soon as he gets that elbow and arm back he's going to bring that elbow right back and through look at how fast he's able to go elbow back then elbow right back and through and being able to do that very quickly but still generate a lot of force and how he's generating forces look at how quick he goes and he pivots off that back leg gets those hips to open up and now that he's getting those hips to open up now he could really pull hard down with that front shoulder and create a lot of momentum and rotation in the middle part of his spine and that's really what is such a unique thing that he can do as, as a quarterback. And, and I say unique just because compared to so many more people that I see in their videos and their breakdowns, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference in, in what they're, they're doing. We'll go here. What's great about this one is watch how quickly he's able to get the ball out of his hands again once he decides he wants to release the ball. He's here. Boom, he decides, okay, I'm going to get rid of the ball. Boom, I'm going in and I'm, I'm able to get rid of it. So you can see he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. Oh, I'm getting rid of the ball here. Just one tap, tap. He does a little tap of the ball, puts the feet down, and look at how quickly he just twists his feet. Look at. So watch here. Boom. Boom. Oh, man. So he's here. Makes the decision, look how he turns his feet. So first he gets that front foot to turn open, pivots that back leg, then he goes and, and really pulls down that, that front arm. And again, look at how fast, so as he starts to bring that elbow forward, he's also twisting the hand. And this is something that we try to talk a lot about with quarterbacks is, when your elbow's coming forward, look at how he, he twists his hand right away. See how he gets that, that nose of the football pointing back towards the target so quickly? See right there? That's what makes it so he can get the ball out of his hand so quickly. A lot of times what happens is as the ball, as the elbow's going back and you start bringing the ball back, the ball ends up pointing more that way, kind of up and back. 
But notice how he does a good job of just circling it right around and not having any wasted motion, right? And because of that, now he can get the ball out of his hands very quickly. He had to end up throwing it a little bit low, but the point being is able to get the ball out of his hands really quick and just maintain overall effectiveness as a quarterback. We'll go one last one here. Again, very, very fast in how he does that range. And then another big thing that I think is important is notice is when you, he's stepping, how he tries to get that what's called hip and shoulder disassociation. And what that is, is it's the hip going that way and the shoulders going that way. Disassociation. So they're going opposite directions. This helps load the core. It makes it so the core or the, the length from the right shoulder to the left hip improve. So he's here. He goes and he steps and, and look at how, where's he stepping, how that left hip goes this way. And then his right shoulder and upper part of his body are going the opposite way. There's that disassociation there. So now he's really loading, really getting power, and he's doing that so quickly, going back in that power and then letting go of the ball immediately. I'll show it in fast motion. See how quick that is? Again, this is, this is what makes Tom Brady Tom Brady, and this is what makes really NFL quarterbacks NFL quarterbacks. Their ability to be able to make the decision of where they're going and get the ball out of their hands right away. I think it's a very underestimated achievement that you have to have as a quarterback because you've got to get the ball out of your hands faster. I'd say 90% of quarterbacks that, that we see with the breakdowns, you've got to get the ball out of your hands quicker. And what this video is supposed to do is give you kind of that formula of how you do that. Get that front hip going load that core and then from there as soon as you're getting that elbow back and hit and ball back you got to come up and over the top of that elbow notice how there's no dip ever in that elbow it's just coming right up over the top coming right through and he's able to release the ball out in front of him keeping that elbow coming all the way through down as well don't let that elbow stay up there's some guys that as they're coming through their elbow kind of flicks up you want to bring that whole arm down and use that serratus and lat muscle in order to pull down so that's going to be you know i know there's a lot of information in there and there might be some things that are a little bit too technical but that's fine we got to get a, an understanding of first what does it look like and once you can see it then you have a better idea of how you can replicate it all right and and the big thing that you can replicate and you can take away from tom brady is being able to get a fast release i know you know aaron Rodgers has a fast release and that's something everybody you know kind of um epitomizes or you know really holds as like a um a standard that everybody should should accomplish but really all these nfl quarterbacks have fast releases and you got to be able to to match that and, and get the ball out of, out of your hands quicker all right let me know if you guys have any questions and hope to talk to you soon thank you so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it and if you did you can subscribe down below and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get also, if you want to, you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing. We have exercises, also jumping mechanics videos, a lot of great stuff within our channel. Hope you enjoy.